All right, today we're gonna do a little line wiggle thingy that I put in my videos. So uh, I'll put up a video, like a few examples right now. But yeah, so we're gonna make something like that. And uh, to start it off, what you wanna do, just grab a fusion, go to fusion. What you wanna do now is grab a background node, connect it to the media out. So I have like a black screen, chilling now. Then we add a beast spline and we could just make any shape you want. So let's just go something like that, I guess. We could try something like that. All right. After what you want to do is put your border width up to like, say one. After that, you can go to your background node. You can change your, your color. What I like to do is go to horizontal and then change the left to like any color. Like let's say like left, just put it like blue. And then right, I change it to like a different color. So like for me, I like to put like pink. So it shows blue, like a blue, and then it like fades into a pink at the end. All right, now after, what you could do for the, to add the like the little wiggle animation, it's just waviness, add a waviness node, and then change the whole waviness type to horizontal and put the scale down to like 15. You could like mess with the, the speeds and stuff. I like to keep mine around like the default settings and just, yeah, it wiggles now. So now that we have that, we could also just to make it stand that stand out a little bit more. What I like to do is add a soft glow to it and then put the gain all the way down to like one or something and put the glow size up to like 30. You can see a glow looks pretty good. And yeah, that's that's pretty much how you make it. I mean, to, to add animations to it, what you can do is, is mess with the length, like keyframe the length. Let's say I keyframe the length at zero in the middle. I keyframe at like 0.5, so like halfway. And at the end, I just keyframe at one. I could always mess with the spline do something like like that and so it has like a little animation see that so like it moves around that's what i like to put with the my in my 3d space for right now i'll make an i'll do like a little example so i'll make a quick 3d scene all right now that i have my 3d scene what i like to do is make sure it's big enough so then that it stretches throughout the whole scene so what i like to do is in your image plane when you import your video make sure or when you import your effect make sure it's connected to an image plane and what i like to do is uncheck this lock x y and z and then mess with the y and x mostly with the x because that's what extends it more and then yeah now it fills up the whole screen and then i'm gonna mess with the camera so then it pans around the whole line So now this is what I have after messing with the camera and uh, here are my graphs. So now you could tell it moves with the, the line, which makes it like basically it's like it's moving like the camera is moving with the line. It looks better like this. The, if there was more effects, like let's say maybe some particles or even like text, it would look way better. But then this is just a tutorial on how to do it. Yeah, it's pretty much what I do. It's pretty much it for this video. Pretty short pretty simple effect you can make you, you could always add it to whatever you want usually i just put this in my 3d scenes though to like so it follows with the camera but you can put this wherever you want but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you liked it and yeah bye